Let's continue looking at the captures. So Rook can take this pawn and then the next pawn. So we have a choice to take the Rook or a pawn. Let's take a more valuable piece, the Rook. Okay, let's take all of the pieces. So if we take the pawn, we will be recaptured by the opponent's pawn. So that's not the correct solution. Likewise, if we take the knight, we'll be recaptured by the bishop. So let's try and find a way so the unprotected piece is the bishop, so we need to get to the bishop first. Now we can capture the knight. Now we can start capturing this uh, pawn first, and after that this one, because now this pawn protects the, the g5 pawn. Let's take the black pieces. These two pieces are unprotected. However, this pawn is protected by the bishop and this pawn is protected by the queen. So we need to start taking these two pieces, but cannot also go onto the squares that are under attack. So for example, we, can't, we, we shouldn't go here on g6. We will be captured by the queen. So we'll have to go on h5. We're not under attack by any of the pieces. And the, the black's a light square bishop. So now we can capture the queen, capture the bishop, capture one pawn and the second pawn. So now we learn captures. Let's go to protection. So we identify the pieces, your opponent attacks and defend them. So this is a crucial step to avoid so-called blunders when we miss uh, uh, opponent's attacks. So now for white, we see that our rook is attacked by the dark square bishop. So we need to remove it from, from the attack. Otherwise, if we make a move, for example, by the king, we will be captured by the bishop. So let's move out of the attack and not on b1 because this field is also under attack. So if we move to b1, we'll be captured. If we move the king, we'll be captured by bishop from e5 to a1. So we move to c1. c1 is not under attack. So the knight is under attack by the queen. And we need to find a square where it won't be under attack. So if we move it here and here, so on e4 and e8, these fields are under attack by the queen. So this is how all possible attacking vectors by the queen. So we need to move elsewhere. So not on these fields and not on these fields because we'll, we'll be captured. So g4, h5, g8, h7, that's the move that we can make. So now, this knight has one, two, three possible moves. As you remember with the letter L. But it's attacked by the queen. So th there is no escape because all of these three fields are under attack by the queen. And if we move the knight, we'll be taken in any case. For example, here. Here as well. 
but we can use protection so we can defend the knight uh, by the rook so we can move it to rook a2 now the rook protects the knight the queen attacks the pawn in the bishop so we can move the pawn so that it protects its own bishop by diagonals similarly as it captures and the bishop will protect the pawn in its turn the bishop attacks the rook if we move the rook to b1 we will be captured by another rook if we move the bishop it will be captured by the bishop so how do we protect the rook on a1 there is a blocking method so we actually can move the pawn as you remember it moves one or two squares uh, from the starting position so in this case we will move it into the, the range of the dark square bishop so playing d4 d4 is protected by the knight so it cannot take the the rook in the previous position so over here what's happening let's analyze black's pieces the black's pieces rook is attacking these two lines so the first rank and the a file what does the bishop do it stands primarily on the diagonal of a a to h1 and on this diagonal there is our piece a rook on g2 so we need to move the rook away but if we move it it has only one possible move to g1 we will be taken by the rook on a1 so we don't want that there is a blocking method as well so we can move the knight to e4 it will be under attack by the bishop but fortunately for us there is a pawn on d3 protecting the knight so this helps us to prevent further attacks because the knight and the bishop are almost equal in terms of their value if the black takes on e4 then we can recapture by the pawn what's happening here rook is attacking the pawn on a3 rook is attacking bishop on b2 queen is attacking knight on d2 knight is attacking bishop on g5 however this bishop is protected so if the knight takes then we recapture not a problem a3 is protected by the bishop and the rook so not a problem at all the issue is with these two minor pieces bishop and knight and there is a move that can protect both so we move out knight from the attack of the queen to c4 it will no longer be under attack and we will also by this move we will protect the bishop on b2 so killing two birds with one stone what does the queen do that's the first question to ask it attacks the knight the rook and the bishop so very powerful the rook is currently protected by the bishop so we uh, and the knight is protected by the rook so the only piece that it's is unprotected in reality is the bishop what's the way to defend it we can actually play rook f3 that way we will protect the bishop and the bishop will protect the knight or we can play knight d4 knight is protected by the pawn and will also protect the rook So well done let's have a look at the combat so under attack is the pawn on c5 if we take the bishop then we will lose the bishop on c2 although they are equal the the point of this exercise is to protect everything so we play b4 first protecting the c5 pawn
So we have two pawns hanging, we have queen hanging. So we need to protect the pawns, then take and take. This is an artificial exercise, as you understand, because there is only one move available, but we are just trying and training. So first of all, defend. The C2 pawn is hanging, so C3. We protected it. And now we can take uh, the bishop first, because it protects the rook. And now the rook. OK. What's hanging? E5 is hanging. D2 is protected by the bishop. And G G5 is protected. So we need to play E6 first to protect this pawn. Now we can take, we play E6. Now we can play Knight H4. Okay, let's have a look at uh, check and one. So how do you check? You need to move your piece to a place where it attacks the king. So we can move it to e1 or we can move it to a8. But the problem on a8, we will, do, we will make a check. It's a legal check. But the problem is that we will be captured by the bishop. So let's move it to e1. So here we can check by taking the knight or playing to e3, b6, h3. So these fields, e3 and b6, are under attack by the knight. So we need to play queen h3. Bishop b5, d4. We can check on b7 and not be recaptured. If we capture, if we play on e4, we'll be re, we will be captured by the queen. So knight b7. Queen b8. We'll check. So there are multiple checks. They are allowed, they are legal moves, but we will be recaptured, so we want to avoid those moves at this stage. So queen b8. So this is a discovered check. We can move the knight away, and the queen will be attacking directly the king. So. Knight c5, for example. Let's have a look. If you are in check, how to get out of check. So now the queen attacks our king, so we just move queen, king f1. King is attacked by the queen. Let's move king b4. OK, this rook is attacking our king, so we cannot move away because this file is also taken and we cannot move into check according to the rule of chess so we need to block okay here we can block on c4 but we will be taken a legal move but um it's preferable to just take the checking the, the figure that is attacking so here we cannot take by the pawn because it's spinned or if we take it by the pawn, that's an illegal move. It's not allowed because there will be a, a check immediately. Uh, so this move is not possible. So we can only take it by the knight. We have a check by the knight. So we need to either move out or capture the knight. Oh, it's, it's an illegal move. We can't do that. So we can move to e4. We have a check from the bishop. Let's block it, knight e5. So let's have a look at mate in one. I also have a series of videos where I do maybe 50 or 60 mates in one. So this is a mate in one, queen f7. 
because uh, the 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 king will be will be under a check and has no place to go they cannot move to f8 because they will be checked by the queen as well that's a mate here the king is surrounded by its own pieces it has no place to go so we can check it on f7 and that will be a mate okay check on the last rank on the last uh, file rook h8 because this file is already under attack of the queen the king cannot escape and if we check from here then there will be no possible move slightly more complicated we need to check on e8 so that these fields are attacked and these fields are controlled by the queen so knight e8 over here we can take on b7 there will be a discovered check by the bishop this field is controlled by this bishop already and f7 escape field is controlled by the knight so c takes b okay over here slightly more complicated this rook is pinned it cannot move to recapture the bishop so we can take the bishop and that will be a mate it takes a little bit time to find the correct move so it's probably going to be queen e7 that will check that will attack those fields as well and the king has no place to go and the e7 is protected by the knight so the king cannot capture our queen okay so make sure to check out my video on mates in one